Hello Makers, it's Jack from 8 and today we are going to be talking about loading the game image and single games via the hex uploader. Now you might be in a position where you either want to load additional 8 Excel games, these games might be games you created from tutorials that you've done or you found online through various communities, for example the Argyboy community which is a very popular and well supported community. Or it could be that you turned on your 8 Excel and you got the USB symbol like so. Whatever you want to do, one way to do it is to use the game image and hex game installer. So let's jump. The first thing you want to do is go to the 8BitCade website at 8BitCade.com using your browser. You then want to click the game button as all files relating to gaming will be found here. Then you want to scroll down and select 8BitCade XL button as that's the console we are using. And here you can see various content. For example, this video will guide you through the differences between .hex files and .ino files, a very interesting video explaining why we use each system. As there are two main ways to upload files to your console. One is via the nice and quick installer, thanks to people like Mr Blinky who created the utility tool that allows you to upload single hex files or a game image. And of course, you can also use the Arduino IDE, in which this video will show you how to load games via the Arduino IDE. Now it's important to note that the Arduino IDE only loads games individually, whereas the utility tool allows you to upload both single game files and a game image. So now, you want to go ahead and download the game image and installer. This will download all of the information required in a hex format in a nice and easy .zip file. You can see as it popped up in the bottom left corner. Now we want to drag that file onto our desktop, close the browser, right click and unzip the file. Go ahead and click extract files to desktop. You can see that's now created another folder that has been unzipped as shown here. So that's the extracted unzipped file. So go ahead and open up the folder and as you can see it's called a portable activator. It's portable as it doesn't actually install anything on your computer so everything can be accessed within the folder. So go ahead and open up the folder. Here you can see we have four or five files. The main file we're interested in is the run fx activator. Here we can see we have individual hex games. And here we have the games image. So now we want to go ahead and double click the run FX activator. That will open up the activator as shown here. Here you can see there are some text. These are instructions on how to use the software. However, what we will be doing is very simple and straightforward. So we'll guide you through it anyway. If you wish to install an individual game to your console, which by the way, will not overwrite your external memory chip as it will load it to your internal memory on your Pro Micro, then go ahead and click on this button here to choose the game that you wish to upload. We can then go ahead and go to the individual hex games folder and double click on a game, for example, 3in1a, which is a cool little game that has three mini games inside of one file. So once selected, we can go ahead and click upload hex file and that will upload it to your Excel. However, what we want to do is upload a game image, so we want to do a similar process as before by firstly finding the game image by pressing this button here. Then find your game image, ours is under the folder game image and then double click flash cart image. So now we have selected our flash cart image. Here you can see we select on this side and upload using these buttons here. Here we can either click upload hex file to upload the hex file that we browse to, so the 3-in-1 game, or we can upload flash image, which is what we want to do. So now we can go ahead and click upload flash image, and you can see it's now writing. Now we strongly advise that the only object connected to your PC at the time is the 8BitCade XL. Hard drives or USBs plugged in could risk being overwritten. And that's really important. So before you click on upload game image, make sure that all devices are disconnected and as shown here, connect your 8BitCade XL. So what it's doing now is writing to your external memory on the 8BitCade XL block by block. And obviously it's quite large in size, it's about five meg, so it might take some time. As you can see, while it is being uploaded, the 8BitCade XL will flash red. 
when the file has been uploaded, this will change to a green flash, then a red flash, then a blue flash, and it will upload the most recently played game. Here, you can see we clicked reset to bring it back to the main screen, and here you can see we've now got the 8BK8 XL loader image. We would just like to take some time to thank Mr. Blinky and the Archboy community for creating this superb tool and making the whole process as easy as possible. If you wish to install an individual game to your console, which won't affect your game's image, then you can do so by clicking upload hex file and it will upload whatever hex file you have selected from beforehand. And just like that, you've now uploaded an individual game to your console. And all you have to do to access that game is click A on the 8BitCade Loader menu screen. Note that just because you uploaded this individual game, you do not need to upload the game's image as it will not overwrite your external memory chip as it will load it to your internal memory chip in your Pro Micro and the game's image will be uploaded to your external memory chip as they have different memory locations. So how do you actually create a hex file or a game image? These are important questions as we want you to entirely customize your APK XL and make it your own by adding various splash screens, games, your own custom games and extra things like that. So if you want to create a hex file, you need to go to the 8BitCade website and you want to use this video here, which will show you how to use the Arduino IDE to turn an Arduino sketch slash game into a hex file, which you can then use with the uploader that we used earlier in the video to upload it to your console. If you want to create your own game image, however, you need to head on over to the 8BitCade.com extra resources section which can be which can be accessed via the extra button on the home page or by typing 8bitcade.com slash resources this video here will give you everything you need to create your own game image how to install python utilities and it will even give you an example flash cart that you can use as a base to create your own game image and upload it to your 8bitcade excel to start customizing the splash screens the types of games you have on it and things like that Brilliant! So now you know how to upload a new game image to your console and how to upload individual games to your APKade Excel. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Jack Daly from APKade. Keep making.